Hey folks. So yeah, I'm um, starting off today. Uh, I'm going to get to the <laughs> crash yes uh, that happened yesterday. Um but right now, I've been neglecting this for a while. But uh these are all the people that um have helped me along the way. We got Rev Super B. What's up? We got Holly. What's up, Holly? Dumpy. We got little pants. <clears throat> I said to put down there, Riv. Yeah, Allison S. She's one of the first. Angie B. Angie, what's up? Kate from my hometown. Christy from my hometown. Eric. Kelly T. Martine Blue. Bob Jean. San Diego 420. And recently. Rachel, thanks a lot, Rach. That was beautiful. It's going to really help out. Um, all right, then we got hmm, Blue Dogs. He's looking good. We got a new collar, a new leash because he keeps going all over. The, he keeps running away. When well, I running away, but he goes down to the other canal where I was before. He's got the jealous collar. Come here, Blue. Get up, get up, come on, come on, get up. You got to see his little uh, his collar. It's pretty cool. Anyways. You can't really see it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. He looks like a little leather boy. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, it's, uh, look at the tarps all the way. It's super low. But yeah, um, so, uh, yesterday I was in the process of doing this, is, uh, putting in the poles, the last two. Um, I was like five minutes before I was done. This one here. Finished them last night. But, uh, yeah, it was five minutes before I was done. That's when the thing crashed and everything just went crazy. Um, I put it up. Uh, the tarp now is somewhat, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, it's up top somewhat right now before it was uh, down below. Um, everything that's underneath here and over there just got thrown everywhere. The ropes from the tarp, if you can see some of the ropes that are hanging, picked up, like, the bus seats and it could throw them, like, 20 feet. It was insane. But, yeah, here I Everything is just <laughs> the wind was insane. So yeah, um, man, the sun is bright. You can't even see what I'm recording because it's so bright. But uh, yeah, um, if you guys can see, this is the fence, this fence line. But this is where the you see the the tank stand right there on its side. It fell right there. Luckily, he didn't fall this way onto the panels but um i had other posts in fence posts right along here and then uh yeah some of them two of those fell on the batteries and and one of the panels well not too bad those i mean the panels already cracked from getting ripped off the top of my bus with from other winds from a month ago a couple months ago that was really bad um, yeah, this tarp was all the way up here, but now it's not. This is all the, yeah, the wind blowing everything else around. Um, I'll try to get in a different angle here. Uh, I'm starting a little, uh, a memorial graveyard shrine for my friends and family that have fallen from the The disease of addiction and whatnot. I have many, many, many friends that have gone. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah, I gotta go to the other side to really show you. All right, I'm okay, looking over here, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> so, anyways, I finished that last night in the middle of the night because I couldn't really do anything. It was so windy. I just had to like kind of straighten up as much as I could and every time I straightened up it would just blow stuff all over the place again but uh yeah I gotta collect all these rocks to do uh, uh which we call a uh, retaining wall I got more rocks but they're all in different spots those those things didn't move <laughs> oh yeah and what I did is uh yeah I this is a mixture of the cement it was a mixture of you know cement and uh, what, uh, sawdust, a little bit of hay, clay, 
and uh, sand. It's been working, we've been working out pretty pretty good. We're working out pretty good. I don't know if you'll be able to see inside here, but a little bit. But yeah, all the stuff into the big rock. Yeah, you can't really tell, but everything just got pushed everywhere. Oh, it was too dark to record. I wanted to record some of the stuff that was just like getting thrown, thrown, thrown around like crazy. Here's the back, back of the bus, back, back little backyard, little area. This is probably where I'm going to set up until like, uh, so I can start actually working the bus. I've been talking about that for well over a year now. I've been here for a year and I've had the bus since last February. Anyways, um, yeah, you can see <laughs> all the stuff that got thrown everywhere. It was all like, and all the stuff underneath here from my bus, um, kept it all organized and nice and neat and then boom. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> yeah, some of my supplies are over there. Got another tree here. Oh, yeah, and I have another. Yeah, this is all, uh, that's all clay right there, too. Been collecting it. There's the other post here. Needs to be fixed a little bit. Um, but yeah, everything just got, just destroyed. Even the things that I already made, some of the art things that I made are, kind of got pretty, I don't know. Oh man, I can go that way. Yeah, they got destroyed. Like one of these doors I made got destroyed. It was lifted up, you know, 10, 20 feet in the air. But, anyways. Yeah, there's a wheelbarrow and it's all cement in and stuff. Tried fixing this a little bit. It's working. It just uh, yeah, it's a work in progress. I'm just gonna get more uh, more cement now. I'm out of cement. But yeah, when it's up on top, it was really, really super heavy. This thing's like 55 by 48 or something like that. So I stood on top of the fridge and uh, somehow got it up there. But the ladder is a jinky ladder, and it wants to push both with left and right when you're up there. It's really scary. Even though I did roofing and what not forever it still scares me <laughs> with his wobbly ladder anyways um yeah uh rachel thank you so much that's really gonna help um there's the stuff i'm gonna get together organize and uh yeah <laughs> oh i'm gonna yeah i guess today i'm gonna put up uh, uh supports <laughs> uh attach all these posts together on top with uh with the supports on them too, so they don't uh, so they don't do what they did that yesterday, or more happen what happened yesterday. So um yeah um there was a couple other things I just can't. It's early morning I didn't sleep much I really fraz kind of frazzled, but uh, yeah um hopefully soon this will finally start taking shape. Cause once the shade cloth is up. Yeah, let's see if I can switch the camera. Can I switch the, oh, I can't switch the camera anymore, can I? So I hope you guys will see me. Uh, what was it going at? Oh, yeah. So once this is up, the, the tarp and everything, it is pretty nice, you know. Um, once it is up, though, then I can finally organize all my stuff, have my kitchen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, there's more than that. Uh, another friend of mine's panel is here, too, that got broke kind of I don't know I haven't really got it all the way out yet but it's over there it's on the other side of the bus um oh yeah here we go whoa this is all sorry it's a mess it's just what happens with the wind and everything else and from trying to get everything else from under here because I was under here there we go there's the it's a 300 gallon tank and you guys can see it behind the pallets 300 gallon tank and all these pallets were underneath the tank and then and there's the tank stand and it's smashed onto my uh, kitchen area here it luckily didn't hit the propane or anything else but yeah some of my dolls got broken um, yeah like the stuff kind of got broken but it's all right the major stuff is okay well somewhat okay it's you know and uh, I'll 
somehow yeah. it'll come together. It'll come together. I'm trying not to get too frustrated here. But um yeah, there's my box with dolls in it, but they yeah, it got smashed in. Put my propane tank underneath the bus just for now, just to keep it safe. And now everything's mixed up, so I need to organize a whole crap load. But uh, what else we got? That's about it, I guess. Ooh, I found a doll today. Check it out. <laughs> it's headless. This is the way I found it. It's a San Francisco with a heart. Headless, headless stuffed animal. Soon to be not headless. Or I don't know what I'll do with it, but I can. I do have uh, heads with no bodies, and I have bodies with no heads. If we can put two heads on that one, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um. Well, I don't want to put that there. I'll just put my, I'll put my ugly face instead of that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get going again today and it won't be too hot. It hasn't been that bad lately. Um, yeah. We start with this and, uh, yeah, hopefully in a couple weeks or so I'll be finally set up and I can either start doing the bus or there's a few huge, big art projects I want to do. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be epic. It's going to be very epic. Don't have money for more telephone poles, but that's I have way more, a lot of stuff to do before I get. I need like five more telephone poles, but I want them like twenty some feet long. To mm, yeah, I'll tell you. I don't care. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna. There's no more trees left out here, basically. <laughs> so I'm gonna build my own tree for my own shade. Besides this, it'll be the back of the bus. I think big old tree, like a tree house kind of thing made with telephone poles because they're like seven bucks each <laughs> they're pretty cheap and uh yeah oh what i did with that um i had it all on on my generic gopro daily uh camera but um it had me doing a bunch of work like how i cut all those poles like if you see there's one right next to me okay, here we go i'll flip it around so what i did you see the cuts, and then right here is where the yeah, where the round part is. So I took a almost it was close to a 30 footer uh, telephone pole, more more like 27 feet probably, um, and I cut it in half, uh, and then from there I cut it lengthwise twice. So I have four each. So I got four six by sixes each out of a. Uh, <clears throat> out of those uh telephone poles uh the first one actually i only got like seven i like eight but i got like seven because it was like the top part of it was rotting away a little bit so it split and it kind of came apart <clears throat> but it was pretty cool though i got you know i used i uh, got a chainsaw i got the harbor <laughs> the harbor freight there uh chainsaw the cheap one and it works pretty good you can't like go crazy on it you gotta take a rest and let it cool down for a minute but you know eventually stuff gets done and yeah, I got these poles. They're all, they're really nice. They're, they're uh, yeah. And they're down about ooh, three feet. Yeah, they go down three feet below the um, concrete here. I had to bust up the concrete to get those in, but I thought it would take a while, but it didn't, didn't at all really. It wasn't bad. With the mallets and chisels and sledgehammers and, or uh, um, a mini sledge though. It wasn't like this sledge itself is he is a full-size sledge but the handle broke so it's a mini um what else was i gonna say uh yeah tough one. oh yeah i had um i had oh man my brain does not work anymore when it gets summertime it's bakes your brain and it, it's harder to <laughs> focus anyways yeah i had a video of me with the chainsaw cutting cutting these things cu cutting the uh, telephone pole and everything and a bunch of other stuff but for some reason it didn't uh it's it recorded but it didn't it's not on my file it's not on my sd card from the camera so i maybe i'm doing something wrong i have no clue but it's i looked a few times on it and i can't it says it's empty so i don't know maybe it didn't format it or something i have no clue but anyways um if I find those videos, I'll put them up, but otherwise, I, yeah, I, they were pretty long. They're pretty good, but 
Um, if I get more telephone poles, I'll cut them with the chainsaw again, and I'll definitely video that. But yeah, I had a bunch of videos that I did um, about uh, yeah. But with oh, but when I did the fence, oh, did I show you the fence? Oh, I didn't show you guys the fence yet, did I? I guess I can do that. You can see the fence. I was trying to make a dog run for the dog, so I don't have to keep my leash all the time. I'm not leash or you know, like I like to let them run, and if you know, there's other dogs here and. It can be off leash, it's just, they take off a lot, so. But yeah, here's the fence here. This is all the fence. It's all pretty good. All the way up to the next, next uh, my neighbor, butted up to her fence. And then it's all garbage there too that I raked up, but now because of the wind, it all went everywhere. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, um, and I have, uh, oh, and then the tank stand is from right in where the tank stand is. Um, in front of it here, I'm gonna have, you know, because uh, the kitchen is gonna be behind me, right where the tank stand is for my sink and everything, and the drain, all that's gonna drain out onto right off the slab here. And my shower is gonna be somewhere either there on the other side, and all that water is gonna drain out into the backyard, I guess, area. And from there, I'm gonna have vines growing up um, because of the water. We keep watering the. the the ground and the, and, the, and the vines, but the vines, I'm going to have them grow up this um, uh, burnt out mattress frames, and that'll be on the back of the, the back of the uh, tank stand, and I'll have uh, vines growing up the side of the tank stand, and that'll create shade and beauty and, yeah, a few other things. Yeah, I've got a lot of crazy projects. Oh, but anyways... One at a time, I guess. One project at a time. Um, uh, my finger keeps getting in the way. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't notice the. I wish I could just switch the camera on this. Man, I miss going live. Oh yeah, another thing. Um, my phone is so hot out that it when it gets too hot, the phone doesn't charge. And uh, my phone wasn't charging, so I put it in the cooler, and it dropped into the water. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, <laughs> I need to get another phone, too. Um, but I'll wait for one. People out here, there's phones come, or, come and go all the time out here. So, and I'll get one with a, you know, SIM card that'll work with mine. And, you know, um, right now I'm borrowing somebody's phone. Same exact phone as mine, which is funny. Um, but, yeah, I put my SD card in it so I could use it for a minute. Do some videos and, uh, you know, whatever, call a few people to get stuff going. Um, yeah, I don't know, um, my brain is, uh, <laughs> not working. Um, yeah, I guess if I find anything else out, I'll do another video later. But, uh, Rachel and everybody else that helped me out along the way, most of those people were helping me when I was in Las Vegas trying to get here and I was out of, I was out of diesel. Most of those people, a lot of those people helped out with diesel and stuff. Uh, SD420, San Diego 420, what's up, he's, uh, awesome, he helps out a lot, he's been, been doing, doing a lot out here in the slabs, and me and a few others, it's been a minute, he's been out here, but whatever, it's, it's cool, uh, who else is on, uh, I need to get a shout out to, uh, oh yeah, uh, Rev Super B, if you're, if you're watching, um, <laughs> Sorry about the stop sign. I had it completely put aside. I was going to surprise you and send it to you, but um, it grew legs and walked. I like a lot of stuff out here, um, which I'm very fortunate. There's only been a couple of things that, you know, I've walked off. Um, others are not that uh, fortunate as I. Uh, I've seen a lot of other people have bigger things and stuff uh walk off and whatever but maybe it's because i have dogs and stuff and whatever and i don't want to yeah i don't want to get into that anyways soon um man i'm sorry uh oh yeah oh yeah um <laughs> i'm gonna try to do another uh live on my computer through my hotspot on my phone or not my phone but my brother's phone um I got that five gigs of hotspot a month now, so um, but it wasn't recently it wasn't working. It only works when it wants to or something. It's, and the signal out here is really bad, so 
Um, if I am able to log on and boom, do a live, I'm going to do a live because I really miss going live. I miss miss chatting with you guys while I talk and this and that and doing stuff. It keeps my keeps my brain active and focused and it, yeah, like right now I'm just like feel like I'm talking to myself or talking to my hand. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully I'll do a live live soon. I miss that. Um, yeah, once I totally, I wanted to not do any videos for a minute just because of, uh, I wanted to get focused and get a bunch of stuff done and then, you know, go from there. But, you know, <laughs> that doesn't work out sometimes what you plan. But, uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll be more in there. I haven't done videos in a while. I'm sorry, guys. But soon it'll be, it'll pick back up. You know, it's the beginning of the summer. I really was trying to, uh, put everything aside for a minute and just bust because I just, got up at, uh, on this slab on this camp so I needed to set up for summer and it was already June so I had like bust ass to get the shade up because it was starting to get without the without the tarp up it was the bus it was really hot it was it got up to 117 and like 40 or 50 percent humidity or something it was all oh, brutal out here um so yeah I just focus as much as I could to get this stuff up and I did and I and I got it done and it's nice but then boom of course something happens you know uh, two steps forward three steps back but there's always progress <laughs> no matter what there's always you know a little bit of progress you know, gotta keep redo it once or twice or three times you know but yeah cheers guys um, I don't know what else to say uh, I think I touched on everything I hope um, skate, oh yeah, skate park is, can you see that? Oh, yeah, yeah, skate park is right over there. Right, right next to it, just on the other side of the skate park. Just on either side, and uh, yeah, they're doing pretty good. They got stuff going. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> Only had a couple hours of sleep, so I'm just like, yeah, but I need to get up now because major thing oh another thing i'm gonna touch on um, major thing out here is um i was working the other day and people were like what man you're working right now it was like you know like two in the morning or something i'm like well yeah because you can't work during the day it's what well, you can't you can, there's no way you can work during the day it's just it's just so brutal on you just to sit there in your chair is brutal <laughs> yet alone working and stuff um last year i did a little i did worked all summer but i was i didn't know how hot it was i guess <laughs> I breeze through it or something, but yeah, this year I really feeling it, and um, uh, uh, oh yeah, and uh, so yeah, what I do, <sighs> I try to do the, mm, for the summer is like get up right at the crack of dawn, right when the sun's coming up, you still see, and then boom, you start work, and then you stop at about eight between eight ten in the morning you know start you know start at like five five thirty and you work till about ten lay off for a minute until about four or five and then it starts getting cooler again and then i can start working again you know later on and during the day just doing just laying relaxing and hydrating and <laughs> stuff like that um yeah so i get to work you know but sometimes if i miss the morning part Sometimes the evening part is still stays hot until about, you know, until it's dark out. And then it finally gets cleared up. And then it's, you know, it's kind of hard to, uh, if you miss the day, the, the, the morning shift that I try to get into. Um, the, then all I have is maybe an hour or something at night to, to get stuff done. Oh. So, um, yeah, that's what I try to do. Get up early, work. And take a nap in the afternoon when it's too hot, and then uh, work again, and then you know go to bed at you know one two in the morning. Get back again at five six, and then uh, yeah. So like I got like take two naps a day, I guess. <laughs> but you get like you know four hours one, four hours another. It's cool. Four or five, you know. So it's it's not bad. It's eight hours. Just split just split up. Might be a little harder on on the body, but it's totally worth it. At least to get stuff done, you know. Um, yeah, I've only been up here, what, not less than two weeks, and I've already got, you know, a lot of stuff up already. People, like, walking by, come like, oh, my God. 
Oh, where'd you get up here? I'm, where'd you do all this? Who's this campus? This is mine. What? I want you over at Ken's. And yeah, anyways. Um, oh, I'm just rambling now. All right. Yeah, I know when I'm out of herb too, man. I have a pen. These pens you can I can smoke, but uh, the one of them broke. The charger thing didn't doesn't work or something. Or I plugged it in, it was charging, and then all of a sudden it didn't work after a couple hours. I unplugged it and tried tried it, and now it doesn't work. But anyways, uh, something will come up soon, whatever. I'm not smoking as much anymore. Oh, and I uh, stopped drinking for the summer. Um, you don't drink that much anyways, but yeah, stop drinking for the summer. You know, um, still don't do any drugs. I smoke a little bit. You know, it's, it's to help me uh, have my appetite for the summer. Uh, if I don't smoke, it's hard for me to eat. And if I don't eat, then it's hypoglycemia happens. And then I get weak and faint. And yeah, it's, that's not good. <laughs> so uh, even even uh, even soda pop, like Mountain Dew. I love Mountain Dew. I crave Mountain Dew. But I got to drop it. I can't drink it anymore. Um, the, uh, I'll get just as hungover on Mountain Dew as I would on, 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 on booze and stuff. You get dehydrated really bad. And uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Luckily, my coma stove is still good. It didn't break. You know, I was lucky. It was really close. Um, some food got destroyed. Oh, my bread, of course, got smashed. <laughs> but I'll still eat it. Oh, man. God. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm just rambling, I guess, now. It's summertime. There's a lot of there's more people here this year than I think there was last year this time. Oh, and I've been here a year. It's been uh, this week or whatever. Yeah, I've been here a year now in the slabs. And uh, wow, have I learned a lot and grown a lot. And I don't know how I was able to flip my addiction the way I did and live in a place where everything's readily available and I I don't even it's not even my vocabulary anymore I um it how do I want to put this um I don't it's not uh man. oh my god I need a thesaurus or something I can't even think of words <laughs> That's ridiculous, but it's so hot sometimes. It's not hot right now. But I'm tired, burnt out from fixing all this stuff yesterday to get it all, you know. Um, oh, yeah, that. And uh, one of the main reasons why that tank did fall off um, is because the ties, these, the things that the tarp was tied to, it was tied way low on the opposite side of this and so it acted like a parachute and on the far side of the bus where all the stuff is it got sp sprawled everywhere on the slab and uh oh man what was i saying oh my god i can't believe this oh yeah it was tied down low so it makes it like a parachute and it pulls from this side and my tank stand being there um pulled the tank a little bit forward. It was empty of uh, water. i um, been trying to get water up here for a minute. Um, there's a couple people that deliver it, but one will only do full or 300 gallons, and another guy will do that and a 55 gallon for, for like 10 bucks. But uh, <sighs> he's kind of hard to get a hold of, and if he does say he's coming, it's might be a couple of days or whatever. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I've asked a few people out here, and then uh, oh, I, I did have the money to get uh, a bunch of water like a month ago or so, but I wasn't here. I was up my up on the slab up at Ken's, so uh, I didn't want to get get it then because then I'd have to move and I'd have to move 300 gallons of water with me. No, it's just not it's not practical. So I said I'll wait till I moved, and that took a little extra time <laughs> everything out here in the slabs called takes a little extra time <laughs> sometimes a lot of extra time but um anyways uh yeah so i didn't want to get water then and now from other things happening i uh ran out so but with uh rachel's 
uh, blessed. Uh, I'm very grateful for that uh, donation to help get my pan camp back in order and actually get water so I can wash dishes, wash clothes, uh, have you know uh, water for the dogs, and yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Um. And uh, yeah. oh, and I uh, did work on the bus too. I um did the coolant chain. I got uh, flushed the coolant, co changed the coolant, and uh, oil change, and a few other things, you know. And uh, I've been collecting all that mail. Oh god! Oh. I've been um collecting all that metal back there because I got a welder now, so I can uh, I want to make a roof rack and. A lot of the middle here is like from the the fires and the burnouts and whatnot, and that metal is a little bit weakened from the uh, from the fire, so I don't use. I'm not going to use that. But there are some that in a fire that maybe they had the other the second half of it didn't get touched by fire, and the metal is still good. But so a bunch of people were scrapping out here, so they uh, take advantage of that. And, oh, yeah. I just got to get on the ball. And uh, whenever I see another one that, that's usable, then I just got to get on the ball and go grab it. Like right now, a guy that was doing the recycling or, you know, taking a lot of the metal out of here uh, left some up the street. It'll probably fit inside my bus, but I don't want to move my bus right now because it, it takes way too much to move everything to get it out. But, um, yeah, I have a couple more things to pick up over by the range. Oh. <sighs> Oh my god. Alright. I'm getting burnt. I'm tired. Um, I'm going to probably go get that metal. Now that I'm thinking about it. Otherwise I'll forget. Alright. Love you guys. Peace. Cheers. Um, I'm still halfway of getting water. Water's like 40 bucks for a 300 gallon tank. Whatever. I'm going to put, you know, 50 in my uh, one, 50 gallons of it of the 300 or two, 275 uh, into my blue tanks, my 55 gallon tank for the potable water and then uh, the rest of it will just be for, you know, washing dishes and stuff like that. Washing clothes and dog water and whatever. Oh. I feel like I can um, get somebody to help me go down to the canal and just so I can get, you know, get water down there. I don't have to, have, it's not gonna be drinkable water so it doesn't, you know, we don't have to pay the full 40. So, uh, but yeah, um, but then again, to find, find someone to come under just to do a 50 gallon is kind of hard. <laughs> so anyways, um, cheers, love ya, peace and luck, and, uh, yeah, Reverend Super B, miss you like crazy, and, uh, who else want to see a shout out to again? Dumpy, yeah, and Dumps, and Holly's. How you guys doing? Anyways, um, I'm tired. I'm rambling again. So, uh, I'll once this is all together, I'll start doing. I'll try to do my dolls. I haven't really done them yet. I did that one night that was kind of dark. I couldn't really see much, but then the next day something happened. With them. Anyways, cheers. I thought you were there. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Um, yeah, I'm tired. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go take a nap or something, or maybe if I get a second wind, go get that metal, but that metal will still be there. I asked him yesterday if I could have it, he's like, yeah, go ahead, so it's all good. And I think I have enough, I might have enough with that metal that I'm getting today, I should have enough for the full roof rack, so that should be really cool. Um, and a few other things too. But anyways, cheers guys, and uh, peace. I need a nap. <laughs>